Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do another reading for September. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to do you and the other person, so you pick a side, whichever side is yours, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. Uh, keep in mind this reading is for September. It's being recorded in August. A lot of people don't realize that these are previews and they, whatever. This is for September. We're just going to see what comes up. The timing is fluid. It could resonate in August. But I urge you to watch it in September. So let's see what we got for Gemini and the person that they are thinking about. The person that they are thinking about. Or the person that's thinking about them. Ooh. Release your ex. That flipped over, right? I mean, it did. The time has come to clear your energy. <laughs> the time has come to clear your energy, Gemini. What do we got for Gemini and the other person? Maybe there, somebody needs to release their ex. Whether it's you or the other person, right? Somebody needs to release their ex. That is pretty clear. What do we got for Gemini and the other person? Oh, oh my God. This is release your ex. Okay, release the false contract. No kidding. Not compatible. There's no union. It's not meant to be. There's no wish fulfillment. So over here, we got somebody here that is... Oh, needing to end a contract, okay? There's no renewal of it. There's no renewal. Hmm. Ooh, Ten of Swords reverse. This is liberation, freedom. This person feels free. This person is feeling liberated. This person is, is healed, okay? This person has started on their new life. This is what we got here. This person is abundant. This person is ready. This person is glowing. This person has multiple options. Okay? Multiple. Multiple. So this person is beautiful. This person is, ah, uh, she's not, this person isn't suffering anymore. It's over. This person is not suffering. This person may be hoping for a reconciliation with this person who <laughs> is over it. This person's over it. This person is stuck. This person is stuck. Okay, so one person here is not able to let go. This person is fine. Absolutely fine. This person is strong. This person has gained a lot of wisdom. This person has life experience. This person is shining bright. This person is stuck. Hanging on to something that isn't going anywhere. Reluctant to move on. Reluctant to take a new approach. So we do have somebody here that needs to release. I don't know if it's you or the other person. Let's go over here. This person isn't wanting to be manipulated. They don't want to be taken advantage of. This person knows their value. This person knows their value, knows their worth. It's over. They've ex already experienced the pain. They have. This person has already experienced the pain. And they're like, no, I'm not taking any risks. I will not be controlled. I will not be manipulated. Uh-uh. No. Let's go back over here. This person is holding on till the bitter end. Yep, yep. This person is thinking with determination and perseverance that this contract will be renewed. Contract be renewed. They're hoping. They're hoping, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You know, no matter how long you wait, it's not going to happen. 
there's nothing stable, nothing solid. It's not, it won't be accepted. It's not practical. It's not realistic. I feel as though somebody is hoping that they can rebuild the foundation. It was very comfortable there. They felt like it was stable. It's what they're comfortable with, but it's over. This is the end. This is a completion. Tens are completion. Somebody is holding on to hope that 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 there's going to be something solid, something stable, that it's that it's going to work out, that it's going that that this is going to come back together. Thinking that you know, with determination and waiting and perseverance, it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not. Somebody is staying in a troubled spot, a troubled state of mind, not being practical. Definitely sacrificing themselves needlessly. Definitely. You know, holding on to a dead end. It's a dead end. It is a dead end. This person is frustrated. They are um, feeling isolated. They're extremely exhausted. And it's because they won't let go. They won't move on. Oh my God. This person is not seeing clearly. This person may see themselves as a victim. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person may use victim mentality as a tactic. You know, I'm poor. I'm the victim here. This person uses that. They may cry a lot. They may be very emotional or they, they may, this person may even try to prove points by not communicating. They may withdraw themselves and, you know, to prove themselves. But in reality, they don't want to move on. They don't want this person to move on. So this person doesn't want this contract to end. This person is already ready. I mean, this person is like, no way. No way. I know my value. I know my worth. Absolutely. Absolutely. This person is worthy and they know it. Okay, they know it. This person has a lot to offer. This person is nurturing. This person is caring. This person is tender. This person is abundant. This person has something big to offer and they know it. And they're not going to give it away to somebody who's emotionally unavailable and uses that victim mentality as a tactic and, and wants to prove a point constantly by withholding and withdrawing. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. This person doesn't want the relationship to end with this person, but this person is like, huh, I have so many options. It's over. It's over. So, um, this is the holding on to the dead end. This is, I'm no fool. I'm no fool. I'm not going to be manipulated. not going to work together. So this person is not going to work together. They're not going to compromise. They're not willing to communicate. They're not willing to start over with this person. And this person has multiple options. So whoever this part is for, this person is glowing. This person is stable, solid, secure. They've, they've already been through their suffering. They're not willing to reciprocate. They're not willing to give any energy or time to this person who doesn't really want them to move on. It's probably an ex, obviously. I think that I feel like I feel like this is the ex. You pick what side is yours, and I feel like the ex doesn't want this person to choose somebody else. Rude awakening, upheaval, disruption. This person is going to experience some sort of disruption. They are. And I've got I got to be honest with you. This is a major change, universally driven. Something is crumbling or something has crumbled for a reason. Maybe it crumbled to teach this person self-worth and self-value. And they've learned their lesson. I should have said it and I was going to say and they've learned their lesson and that just clarified what came in my head. Yes, sir. Absolutely. This person has learned their lesson. Lesson learned. No. 
This person is not willing to rebuild a foundation with this person who is emotionally unavailable. This person is, they're not compatible. This person did not invest in the contract when it was there. Now this person is reevaluating their mistakes and they want this person to, you know, work with them. But this person is like, no, I've learned my lesson. No, thank you. No, thank you. Lesson learned. This person has a new beginning. This person, this does. It's over for this. This person is like, it's done. It's over. I got the birth of a new life here. This poor person is about to experience some sort of birth. New commitment. And it's going to, I think that this person is about to get into a new commitment or they are in a new commitment and they're happy. Four of Wands reverse is great. It's great. I feel like there's a relationship. This person is about to become come into some sort of commitment. If you are single, you are probably going to meet somebody at an upcoming celebration. And there might be an instant attraction where you... <laughs> leap into something that you were not expecting. Somebody may leap into your life. You didn't even see him coming. This person is about to start a new life. This person has completed a chapter. They have learned their lesson. And they're about to get in some sort of a commitment. Or if they're in a new commitment now, it's going to step it up to the next level. This person is happy. They are doing well. They are stable. They are solid. They are no longer suffering like they were and they are doing quite well. This person has learned their lesson. This person is not happy. This is despair. Okay. This person is not happy. This person is sad. This person is um, seeing themselves as the victim here. This person is wanting stability back. They're wanting their security back. They're frustrated. Um, they're frustrated that they didn't offer their love when they should have. They didn't make their move when they should have. Um, they didn't face their own demons. And now they want to take back control. This is the devil reverse. They want to take back control. Yep. It's like now they're ready to fight. Now they're, now they're ready to put in some sort of effort. Now they want to be recognized. They waited too long. They should have acted sooner. Now, now it's too late. I feel as though this person is feeling unbalanced. They're, they're dealing with some disharmony within themselves because they, they couldn't find the confidence to step forward and do the right thing when it was time. This person um, may have addictions. This is addictions and this is addictions as well. This person may have let addictions get in the way. They may have let... This is addictions as well. May have let addictions get in, in the way of practicality. Of, of, whole, of, a, of a relationship. Okay. They may have overindulged and did some things that were based on, you know, that they, they did. When they weren't in their right mind. I mean, maybe they were drugged up or whatever. And now they have regrets. Now there's, they're experiencing a loss. They're feeling the loss. This person is feeling the loss and they're not able to release. This person is about to experience a big loss because I feel like this person's commitment, I think it's a new commitment, is about to step it up to the next level. If you are single, you are probably going to meet somebody that you did not expect. This person could be at a diff distance to you. This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a Libra. could be an Aries. could be another Gemini. Um... Could be an Aquarius, could be a Leo, could be a Scorpio. Um, I feel as though we do have a new beginning here. This person is is very stable, solid, and secure, and they're about to be very, become very, very happy. Happiness. This person is about to experience some sort of happiness, and whatever this happiness is, it's it has to do with a commitment. This person may be building a new foundation because this is a found, building a foundation, a new one. And this one is too. This person may be building a new foundation with somebody else. This person is wanting to be recognized now. So 
So, Gemini, I feel as though, I don't know what side is you. I, I tend to think it's this one. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I, it could be this one. You choose. I feel as though you are about to get into some sort of relationship or your commitment or the relationship that you're in is about to step it up to the next level. This is a dream. Okay, this is this is a blessing. What's at the end of the rainbow? A pot of gold. It's your wish. It's what you you know, it's what you wished for. So I feel like this this person right here has dealt with their pain and the suffering of the storm is over. We have a new beginning here that is universally driven. It's universal. This is the universe and this is the universe. It's universally guided. Universally guided. This is happiness. Extreme happiness. This one is too. I feel like this person didn't focus on a relationship when they should have. And they're losing. They're losing it. So anyway, Gemini, that's what I have. You, I feel like if this is your side, whoever sides this is, this person has an opportunity for a happy, long-lasting commitment that they probably didn't expect. They've learned their lesson. And they're about to experience a new life. This is a new beginning and this is a new life. This is a whole new life. This person may be traveling. They may, may be moving. They're not going to give their power away to this manipulator anymore. And that's what I got. Good luck.